name is Paula James and I am licensed electrologist by Cosmetology Board of Michigan. Not many people know that electrolysis is the only permanent hair removal way. Not many people know. I um, had these folks asking me in my practice that if it's real, if it's for real, if it works and how that works and then I actually found out that most of the problem that people doesn't know on that what's how electrolysis is working and it, it's, it is existing at all um, in my practice it was the biggest surprise and then I also found out that because of they don't know uh, it's the fault of us electrologists we do not come out and tell them what it is how that works and it's a lack of the education and I was very fascinated um, long long time by electrolysis because this is the real deal it started in 1875 in Missouri st. Louis and there was this eye doctor ophthalmologist dr. Mitchell who reported that he figured out how to kill hair root to the medical society he was a field doctor surgeon and um, he has the problem with um, ingrown eyelids, ingrown hairs on patients' eyelids. And um, he decided to come up with electrolysis um, because on those days, electrology, um, that was not such a spread or even, even known or something. I mean, he actually came up with what I'm saying. He came up with a method, but um, electricity was new brand new at the time and people thought that um, electricity could cure lots of things that was the um, big um, belief in this as a, a new power new source of healing and getting energy on and then all kind of these things at some point there was even the theory that electricity um, could be the um, our soul like remember this famous Frankenstein movie how um, the doctor puts his soul through electricity and then and that all that kind of thing so people started in, in those days experimenting with electricity and this genius doctor from st. Louis Missouri came up with an amazing amazing fascinating I would say method to get rid of the hair he took simple tiny needle he actually took the sewing machine needle that was huge that actually was a big um, big needle at that point because hair root and the modern needles we have um, modern probes we have it's so tiny and then small that it's hardly visible but um, at those times he actually used sewing machine needle hooked up to the electricity and killed first hair root in his patient's eyelid and this was tremendous tremendous breakthrough but that time he did not probably think it would take off with such a um, force in, in, in cosmetology and beauty industry but the results still are working the same way um, but with exception that technology today is changed it's like it's most almost century it was almost century ago but now we have a most sophisticated century it's, and then with the technology wise and then most sophisticated machines you can think of so probes are so tiny and small that you don't even feel the sliding in the skin the machines are so fast it's mind-boggling um, so I'm really happy and pleased to bring um, the history of electrolysis um, to you because everyone, everyone who is interested and, and who doesn't know that this is only permanent hair removal method, I think I who doesn't know it and, and, 
it just finds out right now. I think this is a good value, good value of information to know because it really makes me happy because I know as an electrologist I can offer something really permanent that started in 1875 and now still this minute this method still destroys hair root permanently. Brought to you by Hair Busted.